Okay, in this video I'm going to attempt to save our PDF file so that it's broken up and tiled so it's easy to print out at home. Um, so let's see here. Da, 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 da. You should have um, saved a PDF file um, let's so, of your pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and I think this is the right one. I'm going to try to open it in Illustrator. I'm just gonna ignore that maybe you don't have the right fonts. Um, okay. Um, next, I'm going to say um, Command P to print. I'm gonna choose the paper to be US letter. Um, I'm gonna say my scaling tile full pages, overlap zero points. My scale is uh, width is 100 and height is 100. Um, I think that looks pretty good. And then the printer you changed to PostScript file. Um, okay, let's see if this works. Save. Okay. After info, tiled, demo. Okay, let's see if it worked. I'm gonna to go to Finder, Desktop, Tile Demo, and then now I'm gonna double click it. Yep, there it is. So it's all these different pages of it printed out. Um, and you can see it even saved as a PDF file right now. I might even just it save format PDF just to make sure it's a PDF save because that's probably more user friendly than PS. Okay cool so that's how you save the tile pages but before you do that we should add some markers to it. So I'm gonna say view show print tiling. So there we go so that's how all the pages are going to print. Um, you should also have a pattern piece that was just a two inch by two inch square. I would select that pattern piece. Of course, I don't have it on this pattern. Um, let's see, if you're able to select it, that's great. It looks like, yeah, you should be able to select it with a white arrow and then it should give you the width and the height up here. It looks like mine's in points. So I can change, I can go file, document setup, and I can change the units to inches and say, okay. And then it should say two inches by two inches. If you're having trouble selecting it, you can also just get another square and click one time and type in two inches by two inches and say OK and then overlap that square to make sure it's the same size. I would just double check that nothing funny happened and that your pattern's the right size as you drafted it. Um, and then for each piece, you know, Tukatek has the default, looks like size you know, quantity, name of the pattern piece here, and they only put it on per pattern piece. They don't know that we're gonna be printing on every single page. So if I were you, I would just type it yourself. Um, I'm just gonna, oopsies, zoom in here for you real quick. Oh dear, there we go. I would just say the name of your style. So maybe this is the summer land dress. And this is the front pattern piece. And you wanna cut one on fold. Um, I don't know if there's any other information, maybe size, medium. Um, whatever info you want, whatever font you want is fine. And then I would put that on every single page as well. So just kind of copy and paste. And then you know what? I think I'm actually going to turn mine. Ah, let's see. I'm having a little bit of issues here. There we go. I would, I'm going to think I'm going to turn it this way because that way it kind of matches the top and bottom of my pattern. So definitely, oh dear do that. There we are. On every single one. This one might be kind of hard. Maybe if you have a weird piece like this. Lock that. Um, no option. Maybe you just like get an arrow and point to it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go to arrowheads and say point. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to make this arrowhead none. 
and then I'll say this arrowhead number one. Yeah, so then it kind of points to that little spot, just cause, or you can scale it so it's super teeny, but I would do that on every single one. And then I would do a little notch point to help the person match up. So to do that, I recommend, um, you know, drawing a square. I'm just gonna say one inch right now, but I'm gonna change it. Um, and then I think we should rotate it. I'm gonna hold shift. So I rotate it 90 degrees. Ah, there we are. Okay. And then right now, the width, I wanna transform it. So right now the width is 1.4. I wanna make the width just one inch and the height one inch too. Okay, that's good. So now this guy is one inch to one inch there. And I'm gonna put this right here on that dot. There we go. And then I would also, I'm gonna get some arrows. And then I'm gonna add my arrowheads. Okay. I'm hitting the letter A for the white arrow. So that fits in there just perfect. Maybe a little bit more for this guy. Uh, one more. There we are. And then I'm gonna type one inch. And I'm gonna put one on this page. And then I'm um, holding option one on this page. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that if I were to print this on my printer, it's not gonna print in between these two, uh, what do you call it, dash lines, because that's the margin of my paper. So this middle dash line, that's the edge of my paper, and it's not gonna print this part of the line, it's not gonna print this part of the line. But if I butt my two papers together, and I measure from here to here, it will be one inch. So this is kind of a nice way to print because you don't have to worry about cutting out your pattern pieces. You don't have to worry about overlapping them or overlaying them. You just line up the edges. And yeah, I guess the person, they're not, like when they line it up, this is gonna be blank. It's gonna be like black line, black line, black line, all of a sudden, white space, black line. That's okay. That's just because the printer can't print all the way to the edge. It needs some space for margin to, um, to kind of feed it through. Um, so anyways, I would, once you have that, just select it, Command G for group, and put it on every single piece. I think this one, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees, yeah. And just make sure it's in the exact, exact spot. And just get in there with the zoom so that it's in the right spot. There we are. Um, so every single piece, and then go ahead and resave it the same way. Uh, we did file, print, postscript is fine. Um, got our full pages, overlap, zero, save. And uh, yeah, and just remember what you're naming it uh, with uh, notch marks. <laughs> um, just remember you're saving it, save. And then you should be good. So you'll do that to all the pieces. I am. So I just wanted to look and see if what mine looks like. So again, it's .ps. Cool, there we go. And then there you can see. And then when I print it out and line it up, um, it matches. And I'll, I'll show you that in the next video. So again, right now it says .pdf. I would save it as a .pdf. I guess export as PDF. Downloads, save. Okay, I'm gonna go to my downloads and make sure it actually saved. Mm -hmm, downloads. There it is, yeah, it's a PDF. I'm just double click it. So now it's opening up in Adobe Acrobat. There. Um, yeah, you can write anything you want on the pages in Illustrator. That's kind of fun. So like if you wanted to write, you could also delete this one, page one and 11. Probably don't even need that. But you could write like page one, page two, page three, page four, um, page five, just to help the person line it up in case they get all mixed up. Um, I would think about it, but this is, you know, this is a good strategy if you see yourself designing some patterns and then wanting to sell them on Etsy. Because um, once you do this once, you can sell the same file, you know, however many times. So, um, yeah, but let me know if you guys have any questions. Okay, so I printed out the pattern pieces, um, no scaling or anything weird, just the way it was, the way I saved it. And then all I have to do is just butt up my pieces. So I'm just going to really line it up the edges here. And then I have my tape handy and I can scotch tape it together. There we go. 
and you'll see there's blank, right? Because the printer can't print the margin. It needs some space to like feed the paper. But if I take my little um, one inch diagonal I made, it's exactly one inches. So it's kind of cool because I don't have to overlap anything. Um, I also did it over here. I made a square for some reason. And yeah, that's also one inch. So it's just taped together, no overlapping. Yeah, that's fine. That's not gonna, ha you know, the, the line's gonna be broken. But that's just, it's just because our printer cannot print to the edge. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is how I want you guys to save it. I have some really ugly font here. I'm sure you can make it way cuter, um, but I would definitely label every single piece so that it stays organized for whoever ends up printing out your pattern.